What's going on, yo? Back with another video. It's the Young P Podcast. I am your host, P. Today, we're talking about 10 um, things that I think should coerce you to do. Seam retention, no fat, um, abstinence of ejaculation. Number one, it is going to be a antidepressant. So like, as I've spoke about in the past, uh, masturbating is a dopamine receptor um, destroyer, you could say. So like a sugar addiction, watching porn, it gives your brain a malfunction and um, it consistently gives you a dopamine hit, which is the feel good um, hormone. So every time you bust a nut, it is the feel good hormone, the same hormone that actually gets um, triggered if you were to accomplish something of a um, exceptional feat, you know, like going out hunting back in the days, having sex, breeding, and things of that nature. So, the more you watch it, the harder it is for you actually to attain um, genuine, authentic happiness. So, when you stop doing it, you'll begin to realize that depression will become a thing of the past. So, by doing no fat and seam retention, it actually will put you in a state of um, a furry self-induced disciplinary action that also happens to be antidepressant um productivity levels will go up not only because you will have more time to focus on actually the work that you want to um, accomplish and it also give you the opportunity to stop um draining your energy that you could put towards the work i don't know who on this channel is either version or somebody who has never masturbated but if you have like a majority of men around you know all different ages with this crazy world of exposure through sexual um, content. As soon as you finish ejaculate, generally your energy goes from whatever level it might be between 50 and 100% down to zero. You do not want to do anything else. You actually want to do um, nothing but sleep. Sleep, just recharge and get all those vitamin and minerals replenished back in your system. So your productivity will go up because now you can realign your focus, attention, and intention on progressively moving forward with what you are trying to accomplish um, with your work. The third one is going to be self-love. You begin to love yourself more because um, you won't be seeing so many superficial men and females on the actual porn sites and videos. You know, they are, are made for our pleasure, you know, entertainment. That's like seeing two fat slobs going at it. Who wants to watch something like that? You know what I mean? So that women who get all types of different type of transplants, butt and breasts, and they have guys who are, you know, very stripped, very ripped, lean, and have a generally um, bigger penis. Let's be honest, bigger penis than, you know, you probably watching this. So it puts you in that state where it's like, you begin to compare with people who are specifically made literally made you know man made to um pleasure and enhance the the video itself just through the way they look their aesthetic and um their their, their stature and physique so your self-confidence is going to begin to rise um when you do certain things such as lie on your bed on the spare earth with oceans and trees and you're in your house with your door closed with the lights off in or out of your socks and you're masturbating. How can you be a very confident person when that is how you are living and actually utilizing your time for maybe five minutes to an hour, you know, however many rounds you might go with yourself. So eventually when you begin to um, return on specific receptors and then make them work properly how they were meant to, it actually will allow you to feel more confident, not only in the bedroom, but in your day-to-day -day life and activities of um, your journey in life, plain and simple. Um, your goals, this is gonna be number five. So your goals, you have more a, of, of, of a purposeful attempt to things, you know? You won't get diverted. It won't be, you know what, let me just masturbate and then I'll go do some additional things that I need to actually complete to move from stage A to stage B. Instead, you could go from stage A to stage B without deviating your energy and actually um, intenting, use intent to forward your progress for what you're trying to accomplish. So that right there is going to allow you to 
better yourself just through the plain and simple act of actually accomplishing um, specific things that you set your mind to. Um, number six is gonna be your hair and your nails. I put those within the same um, threshold of the accomplishment that you actually want in for number six because it goes back to the vitamins and the minerals um, that are producing of you know proper hair through the collagen and the vitamin C and the D and the zinc and the iron. All of those things are components of a very um, healthy, flourishing, hygienic body. So by um, abstaining, you actually will begin to up and compile those stories, which means the more stories, the more they will have to flow from a certain um, point because of how much consumption is being attained by the body. Um, number seven is gonna be your memory will be a lot more sharp because of, of course, the minerals and things of that nature. Um, number eight is going to be a deeper voice. Your voice will actually begin to mature and sound more masculine based off of the testosterone and the human growth hormone um, pro production that will occur through you not abstaining, through you not ejaculating. So when you're abstaining, think of it that way. You're abstaining, you're gaining. When you're excreting, you're depleting. You know, that is really how you have to think of things like that. Um, number eight is going to be your libido, which is your sex drive. If you're not always masturbating, when it is time to actually act, you're going to be ready to go, and there are going to be no complications of erectile dysfunction. Plain and simple, because you're going to be on go. Your sensors and your pleasure re um, seeking mindset will be on full throttle. So when it is time to perform, you will optimally perform. Um, Number nine is going to be self-control, of course. If there is a worldly pleasure such as pleasure in yourself or having a partner to pleasure each other with, um, and now you are not doing it by choice, think of how much control you must really have. Think about how much control you must have to tell yourself no. It is as simple as literally locking the door, turning off the lights, whatever you wanna do your thing, and pleasure in yourself that quick dopamine um facade that illusion that you actually are accomplishing something by you telling yourself no but it's nothing but pure discipline and self-control so your self-control muscles will begin to flourish and actually um go to the next level and number 10 number 10 is going to be um H -E -H, fat loss Testosterone, the three main components of a male becoming a male. That is the main difference between a female and a male is the testosterone, which is actually produced in the testes, the testicles, which women don't have. Women do have testosterone levels, but very low as they should because they have more estrogen, which means it balances it and actually makes it more feminine and more friendly and more um, attractive to the male. As men, we need to have high testosterone, which gives us our confidence, our base, our dominance. So when you excrete a lot, your testosterone goes down. So to increase testosterone, you have to use semen retention to thrive and strive in life and in society. So <clears throat> those are the 10 things and reasons as to why exactly is it you should begin to implement um, semen retention in your day-to-day -day life activities. And with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, um follow me on ig at paint the wisdom and at paint the fifth season and once more comment down below or get feedback with how i can direct this channel to better you so you could better yourself in turn um i want to get back to you guys and really give you guys the most um forward thought-provoking um honestly knowledge and information that will help you to better yourself as a male or even as a female because a lot of these lessons actually goes on hand in hand the condescending kind of where I could help males or females um, in the direction of their growth and development as a human being so male or female comment down below how I can assist you and we'll talk soon peace